Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have got an exciting news for you on a fresh update that has just rolled out for the Mobox emulator. In this update, it can extend new support for Adreno 750 GPU and Android 14 in this latest Mobox emulator update. We will be diving into the installation and setup of the Mobox emulator, a powerful tool that lets you run Windows PC softwares and games seamlessly on your Android phone. It is like upgraded version of Box64 Droid emulator, offering advanced optimization and efficiency. Let us quickly talk about its minimum requirement and compatibility, such as it can run on Android version 10 or above. However, most Android devices can run Mobox and supporting DirectX 9 games using Mesa or GL. For optimal performance and compatibility with Turnip plus DXVK, a Snapdragon device with Adreno 6 series or Adreno 725 to 740 is recommended. First thing first, head over to the official GitHub page. Scroll down until you spot the installation section. There, you will find three APK files. Download all of them and proceed to install them on your Android device. Copy the provided command code from the GitHub page, open the Termux app and paste it here. After pasting the command, if you have already installed any version of Mobox emulator earlier, a prompt will ask if you want to remove the previous version. Then type Y and press enter. Next, you will have the option to install the brand new W64 version of Mobox simulator with 9.1 support. And here, you have to press 2 for second option. Hit enter. The installation process should take approximately minutes. While waiting, navigate to the Termux X11 app. Adjust its preference by selecting the display resolution that matches your device. Display resolution mode from native to exact. Display resolution can be 1280 to 720 pixel. Enable stretch to fit display. Recede screen while soft keyboard is open off. Full screen on device display should be on for an immersive experience. Force landscape orientation is on. Hide display cutout as on. Show additional keyboard as off. Prefer scan codes when possible on. Once the installation is completed, type Mobox in Termox and hit enter. The interface at the top displays at Mobox WoW 64, presenting the standard settings. Navigate to the normal settings and hit the Dynarex setting. A significant upgrade offering new configurations here as 6, 7, 8 and 9 preset. Previous versions had the settings till configuration option 5. So my current configuration is set as 4, 5. In which 4 stands for performance and 5 for further enhancing it. And make it more preferable for more demanding games as preset 4, 1, 5. Explore Wine prefix settings. Wine asynchronous is enabled by default. No need for customization here. In the Manage Packages section, discover various Wine versions, including the stable 9.1 vanilla versions of WoW 64 currently running, and some staging lower versions. Select the one that suits your preferences. To make a switch, simply input the number corresponding to your preferred Wine version and tap Enter. But I don't wanna go back to previous version. After this, had to select current wine container to solidify your choice. I recommend trying different wine versions to identify the one that suits your requirements best. With these adjustments made, your Mobox emulator should be fine-tuned for an enhanced gaming experience. Keep tweaking and testing. To kick off the emulation, go to the wine option and initiate the process. The first boot may take 2-5 to five minutes as it sets up the best drivers. Now that we are on the Mobox interface, head to the Start section, choose the appropriate driver based on your device compatibility. We can find out DXPK version as well as Turnip version now. You will have to use the DXPK Asynchronous 1.10.3 for Snapdragon devices and if you have a MediaTek processor then you can go with Wine D3D. For Adreno 725-750 to 750 GPU, 
you have to choose the specific turnip version 2 to 5 and for mali gpu you can opt for virgil navigate to the d drive which corresponds to the download folder on your android storage import your windows games to your phone select any game and start playing i am gearing up for more tests for gameplays including gta 5 max Payne 3 and many more Stay tuned for those results and there you have it. That concludes today's tutorial on setting up the latest version of Mobox emulator WoW64 to showcase the current performance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more intriguing content. Your support means a lot to me. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.